And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for the return of Rotation Proof Monday. That's right, Mondays on the stream, we play only decks that are rotation proof. So that means that we are not playing cards that will be rotating out of standard, which is happening in about five-ish weeks from now is whenever rotation is going to happen. So I know that a lot of viewers have rotation on their mind and they don't want to be crafting cards that will be leaving standard at that time. So that's what we're doing here on this series. Uh, so far, we've had two other rotation proof Mondays previously. So we've played eight other rotation proof decks. So if you're uh, just kind of joining in uh, first time seeing this series, uh, make sure you check out the YouTube channel. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, um, go to the playlist. There's a playlist on there for all the rotation proof decks. You can see the other eight decks that we've played on there. So today we're getting a little more aggressive. We're playing Mono Red Cavalcade to start with. And then after this, we got Selesnia Monsters, which is, a, which is a green white deck filled with all sorts of creatures, only creatures in the main deck. It's a Beast Whisperer deck. Um, and then uh, Is It Drakes, which isn't very Drakey, but it's kind of Is It Midrange. Didn't really know a better name to play it, to call it, sorry. And then a viewer submitted five color gates rotation proof deck uh, that I have not played before. They'll be interesting to try out. Okay, let's get to our aggro deck here. This is a deck that's pretty popular in standard right now, as far as mono red decks go. That's really only losing two cards. Like I took a stock list that I, I saw like multiple people um, get like five O's or, or post like the same kind of deck list on online that really was just missing two cards. One is lightning strike. We don't get lightning strike, so we're gonna have to we're gonna be replacing lightning strike with heartfire, which heartfire does deal an extra damage, so you know, upgrade. But I guess it has an additional cost. You do have to sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. Okay, downgrade, so you don't get to just cast this all the time. So I'm hoping that this works out. Like the the two mana burn spells that are gonna be left right now, there's not very many that can go upstairs that can actually target players. A lot of them are like. Um, Chandra's whatever thing that targets Chandra's Triumph. There we go. That's probably the more official name. Chandra's Triumph that targets creatures or uh, Planeswalkers. And then there's Jaya's Greeting that targets creatures. Not a lot of great two mana ones that target players also. So that's why we're going with the Heart Fires. As far as creatures to sacrifice, we have like the extra Scampering Scourgers, the tokens the Legion War Boss makes. We could sacrifice our one drops, and then also um, I am adding in a, a new one drop that you, you don't really see in this deck, but it is not rotating. That's Grim Initiate here, which is not a bad creature to sacrifice to kind of pair with the Heart Fires. So we got a couple of these in here also. Of course, the other card that the deck is missing um, is the Diagonal Monkey. There is no Fanatical Firebrand in here so that's where the grim initiates come in and some more 10 street dodgers than what you normally see the only all of these are like the normal sideboard cards except for flame sweep the usually people are playing a couple blood suns like two blood suns in the sideboard but we don't have um you know blood sun is rotating so we don't have that option so against the field of the dead decks right now i'm going to try having two flame sweeps in the sideboard flame sweeps do not kill Chandra Spitfire or Chandra Acolyte of Flames, two of our most important threats. So, um, so there we go. Let's see. Um, besides, if you haven't really seen this deck though, so like that, those are like the little bit of changes that I made. But this is this deck's all around built around Cavalcade of Calamity, Calamity, probably Calamity. Uh, so whenever your smaller creatures power one or less attack. Cavalcade deals one damage. That's just unblocked damage. That damage triggers Chandra Spitfire whenever they're dealt non it's non-combat damage. It gets plus three plus zero. It turns into a huge threat. That's why having cards like Heartfire and Shock cards burn spells that target your opponent is very important here with the Spitfires. What's up, Veer Day? Thank you so much for that resub. The tier three sub coming along with the donation deck with it. Awesome. Cool, I will get to that tomorrow. Um, okay, so this is our deck. Let's go ahead and get to it. 
Let's see how it does. Our rotation proof decks aren't always, we don't always get the most wins with them, but they're fun to play. And they are filled with cards that are not rotating. But we're going through a league here, our traditional constructed league, seeing how many wins we can get before we pick up two losses to do with these. Okay. So we're gonna gonna have some more dredge tomorrow. Is there any any slot that you want me to play your deck tomorrow of your day? Or or do you want me to play it Wednesday or a different day also? It's looking good though. Yeah, we can keep this. All right, we're going all red. We got our red sleeves. We got Chandra hanging out with us. Okay, cool. I'm thinking probably like Legion's End in the sideboard. Temple of Scryum. Not the best light of the stage. We have this one of our two four drops that we're not going to be able to play next turn. Man, Matthew, that looks good. Not sure if I was supposed to shock. The Vanguard. We'll have we'll be able to play that shock eventually anyway. I was thinking that like if I do play the shock, if they have like a 2-2. They have like that that two two creature that I'm gonna want to use the shock on that thing. Oh, well, that's a two two. That wasn't the one that I was thinking of. I was thinking of uh, tenth district legionnaire is the one that I was thinking of there. Cavalcade of Calamity. Our deck is sweet. Let's do the mentor trigger last. Let's just I don't I don't know if it, it matters with the cavalcade. I'd you know like if it checks again, but just in case. Might as well do it last. And they're pretty dead. Once it triggers, it doesn't matter? Okay. Yeah, this is free to play. GG, sis. All right, so we're playing against Feather. Lava Coil and Fry are two cards that kill Feather. But now, how how much do I really need to be worried about that? I do think that I probably want to play Lava Coil over Heartfire. Because I like Lava Coil more than... Uh, I guess Fry's an instant, but... Fry doesn't kill the 1-3, the red creature. 
So we can probably trim a couple of the like these. We can probably trim like these grim initiates. Also, I could just go like three and three, and go with this. Are they going to be gaining a lot of life? Like maybe, maybe they have healing salve. They don't always have healing salve. We can go with this. This is a really, really slow hand. It can be quite powerful, but like, am I, am I just gonna wait till like turn three to play Spitfire and then like turn four have another Spitfire and then start doing this stuff? Nah, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna mulligan this. Like the Spitfires are just really weak to Reckless Rage. Okay, so we'll keep this. Are we getting rid of Acolyte of Flame or War Boss? I'm gonna get rid of War Boss. Again, I think basically I want like we're we're kind of going control route here with this hand, and so I'm thinking that like Acolyte of Flame can recast. Coil or shock. And yeah, can't reckless rage acolyte, but they do get to attack acolyte efficiently. And they had the 1 3, good thing we had some coils. No, not another 1 3. Yuck. Yeah, I'm feeling better today, Doom Waffle. All right, well, this is like their desired opener for sure. All right, I think I should maybe just have four and four and put in some extra of those two mana removal spells, honestly. <laughs> I'm the same way here, Trigger. Yeah, I just play a lot of creature decks that usually lose to Feather also. So yeah, I'm the same way. I'm... Feather is not something I like playing against. I want to be able to play Chandra and minus Chandra and recast Lava Coil. Oh yeah, I mean Cavalcade is our definitely our best card. It's it is rough not having Cavalcade for sure. But yeah, it's kind of a good comparison, mono blue with Curious Obsession. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I certainly could have God's willing. <sighs> Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Oh, they're so cute. I'm going to hope not. They do. That was a really, really good hand from our opponent. Alright, I'm going to go extra coil, extra fry. Shock doesn't seem as valuable. And on, honestly, Spitfire is... Spitfire is pretty meh. As far as threats go. For this matchup. I mean, so is Acolyte Flame, I guess. Let's take out one shock, one spitfire. Okay. Mm. Not great. Not great. Don't really want to go to five, though. So yeah, Tillinali Summoner, whenever you make the elementals that are tapped and attacking, I don't believe that those would trigger Cavalcade of Calamity because they're just already attacking. Yeah, so if you ascend and you keep them around and then attack with them the next turn, I suppose so, but... That one drop was definitely a good draw for us to turn on these Light of the Sages. Um, I don't think I cast the other Light of the Stage right now. So I don't want just like more removal just to be dead cards. Because my opponent's not going to play a creature here. Like they shouldn't play a creature with me having the Lava Coil. Or they, or they will. Well, that would have been like a perfect hit if I would have cast the other one last turn. We would have been able to go Cavalcade plus Coil. Um, yeah, that was like a pretty perfect hit. I wouldn't mind a land so we could go Cal Calamity War Boss. All the triggers. I 
yeah, double cavalcade is pretty fun. This game went really, really well for us for how our opening hand looked. Went really, really well for us. All right, starting off rotation proof Monday with a win. Helped the opponent only had two lands. They couldn't play a two drop and have protection. Certainly helped. Why can't we be on the play? Lightning Strike would be looking a lot better for us than Heartfire does. Yeah, wish, wish we had Lightning Strike. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Wayf Wayfaring. G GG's. Yeah, good match. Yeah, glad you're liking the rotation proof decks. Okay, so this is. We're playing. Uh, this is really tough for us. I mean, I could do this. Hmm. I'm going to do this. I was hoping uh, I was hoping I was going to be able to like sacrifice whatever they target with that thing. When do I want to do this? But like, if I do it now, they don't actually cast that thing. But if they cast it, then the feather does trigger, doesn't it? I mean, I can't assign block first because my creature is going to die to the Reckless Rage. But if I... If I wait for them to cast the Reckless Rage, then it goes back to their hand. Alright, Heartfire has been... <laughs> Heartfire was significantly worse. Significantly worse than what Lightning Strike would have been. I mean, I guess Lightning Strike would not have killed Feather, but we would have been in a lot better spot in general. Best case scenario was they didn't block. I got to cast cast the other light at the stage, hit another land. That's lethal.
Yes, rage has reckless rage has two targets. It deals four to one creature and deals two to the other creature. So yes, I can't fizzle the reckless rage. All right, Harfire looked really bad. We'll take that back out. We took out two of these, one of these, and one of those. I mean, it's definitely the best to be playing Lightning Strike in the deck. Maybe it should just be Lava Coil main deck. Um, yeah, we can keep this. Hey, Rackle Guru. Swap Heart with Rage. Same effect, less cost. He's saying, saying rec reckless rage for us. Well, reckless rage is rotating, so like this is a rotation-proof deck. So this deck can't play reckless rage. If that's what you're talking about. And then yeah, heartfire can do some damage upstairs. That was a pretty good shock draw. comes crumbling down. Fry doesn't kill Arcanist. The only creature they have that Fry doesn't kill. We already killed one of them. They had a second. Doesn't really seem like they have more spells, though. Oh, drawing a land here would have been spectacular. That worked out. That worked out well. <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, some some people don't want to use uncommon wow cards on, on lightning strike. If you have lightning strikes, if you don't mind using an uncommon wow card on lightning strike, just play, yeah, play, play lightning strikes. But not everybody wants to do that and so that's what we're that's what we're doing here on Mondays yeah this is mono red cavalcade is what we are currently playing right now uh, 
Ooh, I wish this Scourger was something else that was cheaper. But, you know, that it could be pretty, you know, like could be an awesome combo. Like if we just go Cavalcade on two, Spitfire on three, Scourger on four. It's a lot of damage. All right, good. No disenchant. Boo, disenchant. I'm gonna go with the war boss with there being the disenchant there. Let's just get this going, get some creatures out there. Pressure on them. Ugh. I always have the one three. Or the just the red creature. Hmm. They are pretty low on red mana, which is good, removal sake wise. So that legionnaire is now too big to get to get fried. Cavalcade. You could double fry, but. Hmm. So attacking out. Just make sure this is lethal, because we're probably taking lethal on the way back. We're probably just taking lethal on the way back anyway, so probably don't, but let's see. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, plus three is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Darn it, are you kidding me? 14? Right, wait, one, two. Actually, I may have, may have miscounted this. One, two, three, four, five, six, Plus four is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Never mind, it's 15. I forgot to count the this one damage from the Scourger. Exact lethal. Exact lethal. Thank you, Scampering Scourger, given the elemental's haste. Yeah, I counted the mentor, but I didn't count that that ping damage whenever I did that. That was a close one. GG. Yeah, it's called Red Deck Wins for for a reason. The Scourge Spitter has been pretty sweet. Yeah, opponent's dead from 15. Didn't look like it. So how much, we just, we put in three, five, six, seven, eight. We put in eight haste damage there on that turn that, you know, that wasn't on the board before.
land. That'll work. That was a good light up the stage. Ooh. I'm doing good. Doing good, Storm. How you doing? We had some fun decks today. Splash. So that's four, eight, nine, ten. 13, 16, 16 damage. I think they're dead. They did. Good old turn four kill. It was like a turn four kill where we had another four damage to spare. I could have just heart fired that Omnath and still killed them. Hey, Thorn Gill. So that's that's what Heartfire can do. It can, it can get you that extra damage for sure. Well, that is our second subscriber of the day. I missed one already. I'm not sure if I do need a sideboard. I think Coil is like the, the card that, if we're going to sideboard, it's probably Coil. Like maybe like Coils over Grim Initiates. I don't know. Having like the one drops are probably good. I don't think I want a sideboard. Yeah, let's let's maybe just keep this like this. Yeah, skewer. As long as you can trigger skewer, like maybe skewer instead of heart fire. The thing is, like skewer is also sorcery speed. Ugh. So like, if you're using like cavalcade of calamity or, or combat to trigger the skewer, you have to like wait till like post combat to you know turn it on to be a one mana spell. But yeah, testing heart fire today. Hmm. I wonder what my play is going to be next turn. Two ones are not so good against this deck. That three mana creature that you, set, that you shock in for just to trade with the one drop. The opposite of a feel good. Yeah, yeah, we would have had spectacle in that that case for the last match. 
uh, whenever we had shock. Don't always have shock, though. Looking for Cavalcade of Calamity. Do I want to recast light up the stage? Or make a couple of one ones? Probably want to recast light up the stage. That's fine. not like really actually winning this race right now but if we draw a burn spell then the game kind of ends No, Omnath turning into Cavalier of Thorns or your rock, I suppose. Huh. Double Omnath trigger. Just kills both sp sp uh, Spitfires there, and they have the 4 6 lifelink. Alright, does kind of feel like we should have these lava coils. Omnath? And your rock, your rock. Maybe I, maybe just play Fry because Fry kills your rock and kills Omnath. Let's try that. Let's, let's play Fry. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting your rock. I was expecting Cavalier of Thorns there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I could definitely see going like two Heartfire, two Skewer in the deck just in general. All right, we got our best card. We're going to need to draw another land. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to cast. Um, yeah, yeah, you can cast one mana. Light at the stage with Acolyte of Flame. If it was like a four mana card that had Spectacle of One, you couldn't cast it because it doesn't have CMC three or less. But that card still has CMC three or less. Oh come on, no land. Been a lot better with the land here.
Or am I wrong on that? If... I'm pretty sure that's how that would work, though. Yeah, Storm, is it Drake's? Just for you. Just for you. Chandra does more immediate damage. Let's do Chandra, because we could just kill them next turn. Like, they're just dead next turn. Like, with heart fire and everything. Boom. Yeah, it did kind of feel like they had Negate as well. And so playing around Negate works there. Easy. I don't know what you're talking about. This, that was a really hard-fought game. I cast Chandra instead of Warboss. Do you know how hard that was? That was so hard. Didn't think we'd ever do that. Some more Sultai Flash. I haven't played that deck in a while. Should probably pick that one back up. No, we didn't get that land. I want to hit land, land, two lands. Well, that will play, I suppose. Yeah, Land War Elf is in the um, Selesnya deck. That's the only card that I will make any exception for because it just makes it improves the deck by so much to have Land War Elf in it that it's worth it. Yeah, for this deck, um, yeah, I would have Lightning Strikes in there. I would have two Blood Suns in the sideboard instead of the two Flame Sleeps. And then Fanatical Firebrands instead of a couple of the Dodgers and instead of the Grim Initiates get fire, Fanatical Firebrands in here. There's really only three cards to upgrade it, this deck, to make it not the rotation proof deck. Why can't we have any lands? Yeah, we may live the triple cavalcade dream. Triple cavalcade Chandra. If we can, we just don't <laughs> we need more show lands. Remorse. I'll show restraint. Don't worry, I got this. Gotta play these things. That was like the best possible card to have there too. Gross. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go with the Spitfire. Oh, I don't have I don't have Cavalcade out. Alright, so if they if they don't have removal. 
I'll protect you. For Spitfire, they die. Yeah, Spitfire will kill them in one turn. Hardfire and Shock will do six damage. I guess I should have blocked a two two. Here goes nothing. Oh come on. Double Nexus? Drawn from dreams? That's the best goalist I've ever seen in my life. That was the best goalist that's ever happened. Double Nexus drawn from dreams. Are you kidding me? Like, we're dead. Like, we're actually just dead here. And yeah, Teferi like could even... Yeah, I'm sure that Drawn from Dreams found another Nexus. That was the best Golos activation of all time. Literally the best, the best one of all time. Bleh. So yeah, usually like Blood Sun would be a lot nicer to have than Flame Sweep. Flame Sweep is kind of rough. But yeah, Golos, Golos doesn't die to any of my removal spells either. So yeah, race mode would be just keeping it the same, I guess, though. It's probably good to have the flame sweeps in there instead of like grim initiates, right? Because that like this could buy us like a turn or maybe even two. I guess against against Nexus though it does change. Like against regular escape shift, I probably would. I guess against the Nexus deck, I'm not going to play those and just try to get as much damage output as I can, as fast as I can. Man, this is slow. All right, light up, go find Cavalcade of Calamity, please. Cavalcade of Calamity. Last time we needed lands, this time we just need spells. Spell, spell. <laughs> oh. Yep. That's the, that's that is the MTG way. Mana screw into mana flood. Good match. Oh, why didn't I? I was just talking and I didn't play this thing first. Yeah. Oh well. We'll see what that costs us. I'm not gonna just like pretend like I don't have a war boss and pass and then be like, oh, now I drew this war boss. That's just not the thing to do. So far, that 
that token would have dealt one damage last turn. It would do another point of damage this turn. Yeah, assuming like that same block. So we would have one token out and they'd be at 10 if I would have played the war boss last turn. And then it'd be another two damage here, which would have put him to eight. Yeah, like that that honestly may may cost us this. I don't think I have a great attack. If I just attack out and they kill war boss, that is not good for me. I could attack out. If I attack with everything but war boss, they kill the, the two scorch spitters, they take one, two. Three, four, five, and they go down to seven. And then my Scorch Bitters are dead, but then this thing's still alive. Like they. If I would have played the war boss that turn before, they'd be at four now, and we'd have we'd have another one one, and they'd be at four. So like they would be like dead the next turn to just attacking with the two. Well, they wouldn't be just dead attacking with two one ones. But I guess I could have. I guess they would have just been at two. I could have attacked with the war boss, and they. They could just be at two. And with me having another Scorch Spitter still in play. So yeah, we they should be dead. We got the mana to play anything. Like what does Chandra do? Chandra would be another two two points of Hey, kill switcher. Stream's going good. I messed this game up, though. Unfortunately. They weren't dead. They actually weren't dead. Yeah, they were taking six there. Yeah, they would have. So yeah, they would have been at one, and then we would have had the cavalcades, you know. But if they had like another deputy for the cavalcades or something, I mean, well, we also had the ten street dodger that would have been unblockable the next turn. I didn't really want to play the ten street dodger. Oh no, the ten street dodger had haste. So even if they blocked it. No, they were right. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, yeah, so they yeah, they would have just been at one. I I didn't have the mana to make the one one unblockable. I didn't have the mana, so that's why I actually kinda didn't want to attack with the the Ten Street Dodger. Well you as you can see this is rotation proof Monday, so we're playing all cards that are not rotating out for the people that are wanting to invest in decks without cards that are rotating out. So yeah, so we no blood sun in the sideboard because that's rotating out. A yeah, good, good looking hand here. And of course, we'll play Spitfire next turn and then Cavalcade the turn after. Yeah, we're doing the the constructed event. 
or you pay the thousand gold. Uh, just the streaming thing for me, Kill Switcher. Hey, any other cheap cards that rotate that you would recommend crafting besides elves? Lightning Strike is a very good one. Yeah, so as far as like cards that rotate in five weeks that I'd still recommend crafting, Land War Elves. Um, and then Lightning Strike. And then like if, if you're playing a deck that, want, that needs them, like Spell Pierce. Kind of thing. All right, well, we're at four wins. Mono Red Cavalcade. We're on the final boss. Thanks, awesome kill switch. Yeah, so I've I've been I've been streaming full time all year, and that's that's what I I, I enjoy doing this. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. So. No, I don't think there will be a, a land. I don't think Land War Elf will be reprinted in the next set, and I do not think there will be any replacement for it either. Could certainly be wrong, because you know I don't, you know I don't know any more than y'all. But just intuition-wise, I don't believe it will be. I believe if if they wanted Land War Elf reprinted in standard, that it would have been in the core set, because it, it would make more sense to have it in the core set where there's not like a a land of war in the throne of Eldrin, uh plane. Hey, what's up, Logan? Thanks for keeping that sub going. Seven months here. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, we went a few years without having like a land of war elf in standard. It was a big deal when it got reprinted. I don't expect there to be another Teferi printed in a very long time <laughs> with how these two Teferis have been um, how they've been welcomed and how people do not care for them very much. I guess technically it's better to play Spitfire first. Cause they could they could easily just have two mana removal to kill the war boss also. But yeah, three mana Teferi is not I mean, I think that was just kind of a special case because they you know print another Teferi because War of the Spark, they're just printing all of those cards. What is that? Can't do that. Gotta steal my Spitfire. Chandra's conniving Spitfire. Yeah, they didn't even have anything in the graveyard. They just sacrificed it and hoped to hit something, and they did. Man, everything's turned up Millhouse for our opponent here. They just get connive back. Where's my full control? Here we go. Did I not have full control on? I, I just put full control on. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, this isn't actually killing my war boss. I guess maybe I don't even need to heart fire then. I was planning on killing the thing that could kill my war boss. But I already played a land. Alright, so we got 369 as far as damage with the Scourgers. I guess it's only six, but then yeah, after two gets blocked, that's so that's seven. Ugh. Yeah, get the all those cards out of here. <laughs> all three of those cards are really good. I don't see any of them. Oh come on. Looks like we're dead over here. We played two Cavalcade of Calamities and lost. Yeah, I've seen that seen that deck Corn Lover. I don't I don't really have any opinion on it too much. I played against it once with Mono Black on Sunday. I still don't really know exactly how the deck works. I just know that my three sideboard Ashiox were very good. Knive is a huge problem. So I want coils. I want to exile their creatures so they don't go go to their graveyard. Like enter the God Eternals is like a problem. I mean I could play some Tibolts, I guess. I don't think the Spitfire is a very good plan. We'll get rid of Spitfire. Whether it gets stolen or they just use removal spells on it, I don't think it's gonna really work out for us. Is this like a Frenzy matchup? It seems like it's still pretty fast for Frenzy. Yeah, Heartfire is a good response to Connive, but us having enough mana to like play our three mana creature and also have Heartfire available is sketchy at best. We're going to play the One Frenzy. <laughs> yeah, Rankler. We were playing Mono Red, and we're doing great with it, except for we were down a game. <laughs> Is your groove burn, 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 burn? <laughs> All right, let's see how we do here. Let's see if war boss. Hopefully, they don't connive my war bosses this time. <laughs> that are infect, 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 or stone rain, stone rain, stone rain. Which is good quality magic.
I know shocking the Stitcher supplier gets it off the battlefield for um, blood for bone's sake. But I also just don't think that that's worth it. I think the shock can be more useful for to us later. Our opponent's deck is pretty decent against ours. A lot of A lot of life gain, a lot of good, cheap removal. Let's get this thing in play. Play nice, they say. The more, the messier. Yeah, can't gain life. Jerk. This jerk tomb bound lich over here, and it's wanting to gain life. So they discard Blood for Bones, huh? <coughs> oh, a little to the left next time. What are all these lands doing? What are all these lands doing? All right, their battlefield does not have creatures left. But neither does mine. My friend is here to help you. We have an experimental frenzy in our deck. We need to play all of our lands. I'm not going to keep it in hand to like see if they thought or azure me. Yeah. Kind of wish I brought in both frenzies, but I'm glad that we have one in there. All we need to do is draw the one. Okay. Shock. You know what's better than having a plan? It's okay. These little guys are great. I almost forgot about the Acolyte of Flame. That card's great. That was a very good draw for us. Oh, they're going to Blood for Bones this thing. I should have shocked it. I was saying they were going to block. Is it just like Choop? Should have shocked it. We don't have anything that great though. Choop, Supplier, Fibblethip. Oh, and then the Lich. The Lich is good.
assistants are painfully slow. Go get them, buddies. With just one other card over there. Oh, I mean, I guess I should have. I should have not used the Tibalt yet to get one life here. But I'm gonna just get rid of the Tibalt and get a one-one because the Tibalt's gonna be dying. Tezzeret, Artifice Master. That's a good one, Matthew. That's a good one. I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. Congrats. I don't think I want to block there. I was definitely considering it for sure. Alright, well, it looks like I should have blocked there. Well, I guess if I... Yeah, because like, that's just going to kill that thing. If I would have blocked, then the Tombbound Lich wouldn't, would not have died. But now Lich dies. We're so close. What? No blocks. They did not want a three damage burn spell to kill that masker girl. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Instead, they want to like die to a three damage burn spell. Or another cavalcade. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? All right, game number three. All right, definitely going to get this other frenzy in here. I'm going to take out a spitter. All right, game number three. Can we finish off this 5 0? Hopefully. Take out the spitter because they have a lot of little one ones that we've seen. Stitcher supplier, Fibblethip. They block it pretty efficiently. Okay, this isn't. <clears throat> Tan doesn't give me like the best oh, so feeling. Playing this because of Fibblethip would block the Dodger. Or Fibblethip doesn't block Initiate. The, the initiate has first strike.
And it, I will trade because of Blood for Bones, actually. So, yeah, we're, let's get this attack in here. Hopefully, they just don't have Blood for Bones once. Like one game. No Blood for Bones, please. This is One Winged Angel, is the name of the song. It's the Sephiroth's theme, the final boss fight from Final Fantasy VII. We're nothing if we're not aggro. Seven life. Okay, no enter the God Eternals is a good sign. So does shock kill them? So it's three, four, five, six, seven. Shock doesn't kill them because of the one life they gain from the tomb bound lich. So yeah, shock does not kill them. Yeah, because they go to one. Enjoy. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, these little guys are great. Yeah, I can't. I don't have the mana for Tybalt and Shock. That would have been nice. We would have been able to kill them if we did. So we're going to leave two two creatures back to block to, for the Acolyte of Flame. With the Acolyte of Flame being the most important card. And now even if they, if they have land to enter the God Eternals, don't get to gain that life. Tibolt was a was a good draw, that's for sure. Besides just something that would have killed them, like a, a haste creature or another shock. Or a heart fire, if that's in the deck. I don't think that's in the deck. Or coil. Coil's in the deck. Coil would have been lethal. Basically any of our one or two mana cards were lethal, but Tybalt's pretty good too. Well, Chandra has one loyalty, so I don't think we can minus two Chandra. All right. Ugh. They did not kill my Chandra, so that should be lethal. I don't really know how it's not going to be lethal since Chandra didn't die. It's like my fiery cavalcade dies or something. Tap all creatures, draw a card. This cryptic command. No, this is seven. Storm.
Where is my victory fanfare? We got a 5-0 over here. Let's claim that prize. 80 gems. Both rares got upgraded to mythics. Get those 80 gems. So like 40 cents worth of gems. 40 cents adds up. All right. Mono red cavalcade. A 5 0 with. That's, you know, that's pretty good. 5 0 with a deck that's rotation proof. You know, we're, we're not maxing out our deck to be the best it possibly can be. But yeah, cavalcade was pretty sweet. First time myself playing the Calamity enchantment. It's a strong one. It's a very good enchantment. That with Chandra Acolyte of Flame, really, really good there. Thanks, Jam. Thanks for that resub. All right, 5-0 hype. Um, yeah, we probably would struggle against vampires. Thankfully, we did not get paired against those blood-sucking vampires. Yeah, pretty sweet little deck here. Not too much more to say about it than what we already have. Um, you know, I talked at the beginning, I talked about how, uh, you know, playing a pretty stock cavalcade list, except for changed out the cards that were rotating, which there were only three fanatical firebrand lightning strike, and then blood sun in the board, but pretty good. Tybalt, the, that rakish instigator was definitely better than, um, it usually is. The cavalcade was of course amazing. Acolyte of flame, amazing. Um, pretty cool little deck here. Pretty cool little deck. Spitfire got to do some crazy stuff too. So yeah, Scamperic Scourger was actually pretty awesome for us. I really liked this card as a two of. It did some really good things. Um, you know, it gave us the lethal that one turn against the blue green deck, the, the opponent, or like the elemental deck. They probably weren't expecting it. And, you know, gave, you know, giving the elementals haste until in turn gave the, the Scourge Spitter haste. Also, that finished him off. So, yeah, pretty sweet deck here. All right, so that's Mono Red Cavalcade, the first of our uh, four decks that we're playing here on this Rotation Proof Monday. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Let's get our regular playlist going back again. And also, uh, check out the... Speaking of playlists, check out the playlist with all the other rotation proof decks as well. So you can see, have some more ideas if you're a big fan of these rotation proof uh, style decks. Spitfire is an elemental. Good call. You'd have to have seven mana to play Spitfire and Scourger the same turn, but you know, if that happened, that is an elemental. All right, but that's it here for Mono Red Cavalcade. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.